Welcome back, Neonate Cupcakes, to Bloodlines. Um, I want to go ahead and just discuss this really fast before we get moving into this area. I'm going to be moving very, very quickly through this sewer section. I think they call it the Warrens in game. And the reason I'm going to be doing that is because there are a lot of enemies here. But as you may recall from previous encounters, you don't get experience for, yeah, for like fighting anything so we're just gonna be moving pretty darn out, really we're gonna be moving very very quickly okay and um let's just get out of here like as quickly as possible these heads are not the only thing we're gonna be facing down here i didn't talk about the heads being like everywhere uh, and they are but additionally, there are other things that we're gonna be facing off against. Uh, I'm gonna be fighting at least one of each monster. And that, that's gonna be it. That's just gonna be it. I don't want these guys sneaking up on me. So. All right. So with that being done, let's see if I can't find the pipe I'm looking for here. Here we go. I'm gonna head into this pipe. I believe this is the one that we need. It may be dark on screen. It is also dark on my screen. There's basically no light. All right, so you wanna get into this room here and then just keep going through. I don't know what this is really supposed to be, honestly. Like, I know this is a sewer, but this feels like the oddest Coming. Where is it? Okay. These guys look to be. I don't actually want to be sneaking. I just want to. Just want to go. Hey. Okay. Here we are. We're gonna find this room here. It's got like a water thing and this. Now, uh, we're gonna jump in to here, but just as a heads up, the ladder to get out- oh god. That is just the water physics acting up. Um, or the water reflections. Uh, the ladder is gonna be on the left and we wanna make sure we dive onto that as quickly as possible, because otherwise we will die, so. <laughs> you don't get an option here, you're getting sucked in. Oh, bye. bye. Alright, so here we are, and it's really hard to see. I may have to lighten this up. It's really dark on my screen, too. So, you might be able to see it at this point. Oh my god. But there are some spinny evil things on the far end here. I'm trying to get to the ladder. Come on, climb. Come on, climb. There we go. Uh, be careful, those will kill you. Additionally, there's heads. Okay, what's up, guys? <laughs> There are just heads in every single one. And these guys are surprise masters, so... And yes, they can get across. Oh, don't fall in. Don't fall in. Is there one in there? Yes, there it is. Okay, so there's one more right there. Who, for some reason, isn't responding. Hey! You should come across now. I don't like to use guns in this game. I find them to be... Well, he's forever stuck in there. Now let's be really cautious here and we just want to jump across. There are more enemies. I don't know if you can see them or not, but they are in... They are in... Uh, they're across the way. Let me see if I can't... Just miss. Seriously, just miss again. Oh god! No, 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 no! Don't fall in. We're gonna have to deal with those in a second. Okay, let me jump across because what we need to do is we need to grab one of these guys and toss them in. It should do that, which is what I wanted. And we want to actually, I'm kind of hoping, yeah, stay. We're just, 
sneak our way up there. Actually, I don't have to fight those two guys. Good. Okay, this is a ambush area. I don't really know what else to tell you. <laughs> blood shield here. Yeah, there's actually a lot of heads in every single one of these holes. Let's actually just go this way. I was kind of hoping maybe we didn't have to set these guys off, but here we are. Now let's just see if we can't. This place is really easy to get uh, ambushed by these stupid heads. Right. We're going the right way though, and we're not facing off quite against as many enemies as um, we might have had to, so that's good. Sorry about that. I might think I'm either coming down on the flu or I'm gonna die. I don't know. I might be coronavirus. I highly doubt it. Um, <laughs> Alright, we're gonna just. I wanna fight my way through his. Oh my god, come out of there, you stupid. Anyway, we just want to drop down here. Yes, we are in fact going the right direction. <laughs> Let me put the weapon away. Alright, so you're going to reach this area here. And this is exactly the direction we want to go. I don't know if you guys can see the hole. But here we are. And we are in fact in the right area. There's nothing down there. We want to head in this room. A couple things are bad. First of all, we've got some heads. Second of all, we've got some other stuff. Now, I do want to actually equip my gun here and just um, pot shot these guys because you could also use. Let's um, strike from here. No, it's too far away. These guys are a little out of range. The reason I want to shoot them is because there's going to be something that happens. Game, I don't have that many bullets. Sometimes I think this game just hates me. Yeah, so you can use blood per or blood strike on these guys. I actually really prefer not to. We don't have to. There we go. One more bullet. Thank you. Okay. Like I said, I absolutely didn't want to do that, except what we're going to do is we're going to head this way. I don't know if we can actually... I actually can't avoid that. Can I just... No, I actually can't. Okay. That's what I thought. Um, there's electricity being sparked here. Let me wait for it to spark. There it is. Okay. Ow. Well, that sucks. Uh, electricity hurts. It's like fire, I guess. Head over here to the electrical room. Behind the door is a switch. Turn that off. That should turn all of that off. You can, in fact, go in here and look up the about the stuff about the pump if you really want to. I uh, don't remember what the password is. Apparently, it's septic. But you can actually uh, look up some information now. Here's what we want to do. So first of all, the pump control is currently on off. I'm wait for that noise to stop. I'm going to switch it to on. Okay. And then I'm going to switch it back to off. As soon as it's available for it to turn off. Wait for it. That appears to be done now. I switch to off and then immediately get up, jump over here. We're gonna go into the flow access. You kind of have to do this. Um, wait, am I going the wrong way? I am going the wrong way. No! Kind of have to do this immediately. Okay, if that fan turns back on, we're just gonna get pushed back, which it will. So be aware. Turn to the right. Follow the path and get out of the reservoir. Um, this is the right reservoir, right? 
Oh, I, for some reason, this has to be set to flooded, so we're gonna turn that to on. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing, apparently. Anyway, jump down. We have to go as quickly as possible because it should start flooding, but we only have a certain amount of time before we can get there before the water is flowing too strongly. So let's head this way. We do actually want to head to the, did I not make it? Did I? <laughs> It'll start pushing you back. No, 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 oh, frick. We didn't make it. Okay, I have no idea what the hell my problem was the last time, but we managed to get it. And now we can actually swim up this way. That's exactly what we wanted to do. We wanted to flood the reservoir so we could get up here. Cameras are kind of weird. Oh, there we go. No, 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 don't. Put that. Okay, I'm gonna apologize. I'm having some major camera issues in this area, which, yeah, that sounds familiar. And um, we did manage to get out, though. <laughs> oh my god. However, we did, in fact, make it. And we get spit out here. And we are immediately in. Uh, a boss battle here. Now, these guys are actually really annoying. <laughs> my gun's not loaded. Why am I not surprised? Probably should have loaded these before we left. I just want to get a few hits on these guys before I switch back to my hand. That is not a good thing to get hit with. I don't know exactly what it debuffs. But these guys are some of the stronger guys that we're going to be facing in this area. Now, um, let's just get going here a little bit. I'm going to duck through here. But first things first, we have... To, we need to go to the right. And there are gonna be some heads here. Additionally, this that's not the first and only time we're gonna be facing off against those guys. They are pretty common now. Not just the heads. The big fat guy that we just fought. Yeah, that guy is one of our new ones. There he is. with the heads. Stop that nonsense. Okay, so we are here. We've got a room here, which is actually what I wanted to go into. There's in fact a head in here. Your nonsense. But oh, I actually wanted to close that. Whatever. We've got a. We have another ledger here, which we found. I think a couple last time. Let's see, this one is this one here. This looks to be the weekly log of Douglas Streets, foreman of the Los Angeles Water and Power Department, 1957. The disappearance of Sewerman White Prince, uh, Price and uh, Haddad has launched an attack in the papers on the department. It has fallen to me to try and ascertain their fate. I will do so to the best of my ability. Don't forget, this is back in 1957, so. Uh, forays into the uncharted regions of the sewers have been fruitless as of yet. City Hall has been unable to produce blueprints of these sections, and so we continue forth blindly. I have been witness to many strange and unexplicable sounds and events in what can only be very the very oldest sections of the Los Angeles sewers. I found a trusted a rusted plaque that read L A L A D W P 1902. The events I can only describe as otherworldly, both in sound and texture, as well as in the feeling it gave upon my skin, a coldness, shadows and whispers. I have no explanation for these except perhaps the creation of my own overtaxed mind. We shall continue tomorrow. Still no sign of the missing men, but the fear grows in my mind that something truly evil resides in the lowest sections of these sewers. Though I wish not to tell some Lovecraftian tale, I can only say that it lies in my heart. I wish no longer to travel down these dark corridors, and my opinion is that these the poor men fell victim to some old and ancient evil that resides there. I will tell the mayor what I have seen and pray that he does not take me for a madman. The mayor has listened to my report with the utmost earnestness and has decided most wisely to break up those lowest sections of the sewers in which I witnessed those frightening, phantasmal events. The public will be told that Whiteman, Price, and Haddad were lost to these sections because they were old and unsafe, and therefore he will justify the closing of them through 
the unfortunate vehicle of their unexplained deaths. So be it. I pray their souls will find safe haven in some lighter refuge in the afterlife. I myself have resigned from the department. I no longer have the wish to delve into the dark places of the earth. I leave this ledger here unseen and bricked away from human eyes so that perhaps the memory of these things will disappear as well. So that's creepy. Now, uh, one thing though, if you want to, there is actually an exit up to the street. If you are using a lot of blood, that actually might be really useful to head back up and actually make sure that you are full on blood for the next few areas are absolutely nonsensical and I hate them. So I will see you guys next time as we go back into delving into the sewers, um, some of the older areas of the sewers. And let me tell you, this is the worst part of the game. So I will see you guys then when we go through this absolute crazy area.